Our next debate tonight is boxers versus briefs. An age-old battle, boxers versus briefs. Outside of boxers, put your hands together for my good friend, the very funny Jim Hickox, everybody. And on the side of briefs, before the show, he told me he was on a hot streak on these debates. He's one of my favorite debaters. Put your hands together for Nathan Lund, guys. Nathan Lund. Going first on the side of briefs, Nathan Lund. Folks, I don't have a lot of time. Let me be briefs. <laughs> hot streak. Hot streak. I'm riding the next 30 minute wave based on that line. Now, this is not the first time that I have uh, debated laundry here at Vine Street Pub uh, in the last year of this show. Uh, several months ago, I argued uh, the topic of whites versus colors. And I ended up winning because I pretty much nailed Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Not everybody liked it. Um, but it is true. Um, briefs, briefs are kind of, uh, I, I feel like they're making a comeback. Am I, am I wrong? In the 90s, in the 90s, everybody had their gigantic boxers hanging out of their Jenkos, dragging on the ground like gangsters. No matter how white you were, you had your skinny, flat, pale ass, boxer covered, because you were street, because you knew a couple words in a couple of Tupac songs. But then guess what, kids? You uh, went to high school, and then you went to college, and then you realized, oh, Briefs are where it's at. Time to grow up. Time to erase the mustache off of your finger. Get a real job. And wear some briefs like a goddamn adult. Stop playing scrategories at a fucking beer pub. Fucking go to a comedy show instead. Fucking. <laughs> Boxer shorts. You can't trust them, guys, am I right? Because your dick pops out at the worst of times. <laughs> Briefs, they give you a little bit more security than that. You know exactly where your dick is at all times. And a nice pair of briefs. Guess what, also, um, briefs, not quite as embarrassing uh, when it's time to lay down the law in the bedroom. I mean, boxers come in all kinds of themes. So God forbid you're unprepared, you hit it off with a young lady, you end up uh, going back to her bedroom or maybe a gas station. You take your pants off, uh-oh. Candy canes and gingerbread men. Guess who's not getting laid? The seven-year-old. Guess who's not getting laid? The this many guy. <laughs> Nobody's getting laid with race cars and fire trucks all over the place. Let's have some tasteful briefs on, all right? Some tiny blackies, if you will. Yeah, they don't just come in white anymore, folks. There's more in round two. <laughs> Freedom. Constriction. Openness. Liberty. Claustrophobia. Democracy. Fascism. Boxers are the American way of life. They are symbolic of how we let the chips fall where they may. There's a little bit of wiggle in that wobble when you're wearing boxers. Yeah, you may not know where your dick is at all times, but I don't know how I've ever not known where my dick is at all times. <laughs> Our detractors do say that the penis flap opens just a little too early. 
But how many times has a sock hop been made that much better when somebody's purple people eater comes popping out and popping along with you? <laughs> Boxers are a symbol of health and vitality. Briefs are for the sick, weak, and aged, and the mentally incapacitated. They're basically one step above a hospital gown. They're gross and dingy. They come in one material, white. <laughs> this is so gross. Well, if, if basically, if you shit yourself in briefs, it's over. Instant colostomy bag. Boxers, it just falls out the side, and you know, you just go along with your day. <laughs> Now, the word boxers, boxers, brings up, conjures a lot of images. Toned gladiators, queen's penny rules, gentlemanly fighting. Look, I can name two boxers, Ali and Joe Frazier. I can't name two briefs. Pelican brief? Come on. <laughs> now, the words themselves, boxers. Boxers. Uh, briefs. It's basically mouth diarrhea. Boxers has an X in it, which is kind of like the words winking at you. That is very clever. Uh, <laughs> Look, uh, one of the people will always say that, yeah, okay. Girls, when they wear boxers after sex, it's amazing, you roll the top over. They can go work out, I've seen it. <laughs> but the little boy pants, that's what they call them. I don't wanna be seeing a pedophile's wet dream right in front of me. Right, gross. Wink. <laughs> Listen, I can, I can make a word sound good or bad based on my tone, all right? That's, that's word trickery. That's, it's not the word's fault. Listen, Holocaust! <laughs> Holocaust! You know, you can fucking manipulate words with your voice. That's not, that's not fair. Don't judge briefs just because he said, briefs. <laughs> you don't have to shudder just because he said it in a deep voice. You can, briefs! See, they're fun again. See, everybody's, everybody's enjoying themselves. Um, just think, okay, and then uh, a girl. Uh, think about a girl in Boxers vs. Briefs. That's, that's fun. Uh, briefs, briefs. Uh, little Superman on the back, tight up against that buttocks. There's one cheek, maybe two. Just on full display. And the same thing goes in the front for dudes. Briefs put your dick on a fucking mounted tapestry outlined with a little note on the author and the date it was made. It's beautiful. Boxers, everything just gets lost in a sea of flannel and fucking smiley faces. Or Nobody gives a shit. You can roll them up all you want, but you're just, you can't tell what's going on underneath there. And guess what? If a lady's wearing boxers, there might be a dick swimming around in there somewhere. <laughs> They can hide them in there. You get a little tape, and you won't know until it's in your mouth, and it's too late. You're excommunicated, buddy. Game over. Trust the briefs. They won't let you down. They don't lie to you. All right, uh, let's switch gears. Let's have some wordplay, word fun mouth stuff. I'm Mike mouthing it. Uh, Boxers, Reuben Hurricane Carter, murderer to everyone but the Bob Dylan. <laughs> Mike Tyson, rapist uh, of women and speech. <laughs> yeah. <I> was... <laughs> yeah, two counts. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, total pussy. All right. And then I know what you guys are saying, oh, why, why are you arguing boxers versus briefs? Why don't you just come together as one? 
and agree on boxer briefs. Uh, no, it's not that easy, all right? That's a lazy way out. You can't just, oh, you got your boxers in my briefs. Well, you got your briefs in my boxers. No, it doesn't. We're not talking about peanut butter and chocolate here. It's, you have to pick a fucking side, all right? You have to either grow up or you have to hang out in your race car bed. <laughs> Fucking keep playing Magic the Gathering while you rely on your underwear for entertainment. Why did you... Just pick one color and fucking get out there. Hit the pavement, you know what I mean? Dig a ditch. Um, boxer briefs are the independent voters of underwear. Uh, libertarians and Paul heads are actually uh, the freeballing of underwear. Or... Or... Um, the people that just make their own out of leaves and tree sap. That's what free calling is. It's the agnostics of underwear, boxer briefs. It's the hermaphrodites of, boxer brief, of uh, underwear is boxer briefs. I think we can agree, you, you want one or the other, not both, unless uh, you work here. Then you don't give a shit, you just put it inside whatever it fits in. Thank you guys so much, Von Street, uh, for a year of fun. Briefs, baby. I didn't really want to have to go to this level. The Speedo. Swimwear in general reflects the superiority of the boxer. You don't ever see anybody freaking out and taking pictures of somebody just wearing swimming shorts. But when you see an over-tanned, perfectly jerry-curled, mulleted man walking in a gold sequin speedo, get out your iPhones. Party's just getting started. Everybody you can think of, they always look worse in briefs. <laughs> You'd imagine Santa in briefs. It's like his entire fat body was just trying to eat a pair of boxers. Again, trying to keep it above the gutter, but let's talk about sperm count. Briefs smash your terribly sensitive balls, our broveries. And if you keep that outside of a banana hammock, who doesn't like more cum? <laughs> yes, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh, and just simply enough, we started with a loincloth, a square, a free-flowing two-square. Why do we need to go back in time and reinvent the wheel? and cram that fabric, that history, up our own asses. Thank you. Big round of applause for Jim Nathan, guys. And thanks, uh, Jim Hickox, for ruining Santa for all of us. And, and yes, you are the only person that wants more cum. Is that, was that your point? That's, that's his stump speech for when he runs for president. More come! All right. Uh, <laughs> we're on the side of Jim Hickox and Boxers. Big round of applause for Jim, guys. You're on his side. <laughs> and if you like the tidy whities, give it up for Nathan Lund. <laughs> Nathan Lund, the winner. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, guys. Good job. What do I got on? I got boxers on, baby. And I enjoy my race car bed, <laughs> alone, by myself. All right.